friends, my name's Allie, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mindful Living. Today, I'm going to be talking about my arrow garden. I've had this for about a year now, and I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I set that up. So let's get started. So here I have the Grow Anything Seed Pod Kit with Arrow Garden. I'm going to quickly show you guys what the package includes, and this retails for about $20 Canadian in stores. So here I have three of the grow baskets with grow sponges already inserted. The package does come with six in total. You also get six of the grow domes, which are going to be placed on top of the seeds once you have placed them in. Along with six labels, which I'll be showing you guys what we do with those later in the video. There is also a whole bottle of plant food and instructions on the side explaining how much you should be pouring into your arrow garden. This will be depending on how many pods you have and obviously more pods equals more plant food. So now I'm going to be telling you guys about the exact model that I have which is the Sprout Arrow Garden. Here is where you're going to be pouring the water in and I've already gone ahead and filled mine all the way to the top. This model allows for three pods, so you're able to grow three different things at the same time. It also features an adjustable light, so you're able to move this up and down as your plants are growing. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to plant cilantro, dill, and basil, which are three of my favorite herbs. I use these frequently while cooking in my kitchen, so I love having a fresh supply on hand. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I actually plant the seeds into my arrow garden. So here I am, just grabbing the grow baskets and putting them into my arrow garden where they will become saturated in water. From there, I'm just going to be taking a seed here I have a cilantro seed and I'm going to be sowing the seeds by inserting it into the opening of the grow sponge. You want to plant several seeds per grow sponge. If you're finding the seed is not easily falling into the hole, you can use something like a knife like I have here. From there you're going to follow suit by sowing the seeds into the other two pods. Next, you're going to be taking the labels. These are for labeling and identifying your plants, but it also provides important light and moisture control. You can attach these labels by using moderate temperature. Just make sure you do not use steam, as there is a seal on it. This will help each of the labels stay in place throughout the growing process. Then you're going to be adding the grow domes to each of your pods. The biggest draw with Aero Garden, and why I love mine so much, is you're able to grow your plants five times faster than with soil. You can literally grow anything at any time, indoors and in small spaces. Once that's done, the last step will be adding plant food to the water. Like I said earlier, you can follow the instructions here. Last but not least, simply plug in your Aero Garden and turn it on. Don't be alarmed by the bright light. It is a little shocking at first, but you definitely get used to it. And there you have it guys, how to simply and easily grow anything in your house any time of the year. I hope if you like this video, you'll give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video.